Hey, it's Mark from TV VCR, and here's what you and Mother need to know about the last week in TV and movie news. Sadly, we need to talk about Kevin. Actor and multi-state criminal Ezra Miller has been working hard all week at single-handedly destroying Warner Brothers' crumbling superhero universe. In recent days, Miller has faced allegations of assault, harassment, the grooming of a minor, starting a cult, and, in their most benign crime since making Fantastic Beasts, robbing a Vermont home. And those are just a few of the perks of being a wallflower. Nonetheless, the studio is reportedly questioning whether they should shelf the Flash, or, in a less drastic move, releasing it as a series of trial exhibits. A report says Tom Cruise is looking to reteam with writer-director Christopher McQuarrie for a trio of new movies, and it said one of them is a song and dance musical. But Tom Cruise delving into music is sort of like when he does romance, isn't it? It plays, but you can't imagine him enjoying it in real life. He'd be like, ugh, do I use my fingers? It seems so alien. That's Tom Cruise's voice. Anyway, speaking of alien nonsense, Disney Plus released the first trailer for Star Wars Andrew. Andor? Alright. Andor. Have you been wondering what Andor's deal is? Desperate to find out why his name is a short list of conjunctions? Well, here's the series that finally asks, Andor. But why? And finally, some big news for video game fans who haven't played a video game in 40 years. Pac-Man is getting his own feature film. Yes, his tale of eating in a haunted maze will at last be told. It's said the film will be live action, so expect to see Pac-Man just as you'd see him in real life. Covered in grease in an abandoned pizza hut. For the full story on all that and more, head to TV VCR, where television and movie news are married against the wishes of their parents. Goodbye forever.